Hey everybody, I'm Todd Anderson. And I'm Ross Miriam. You're watching the Versus series by StarCityGames.com. Well, I hope you're ready for some popper, because that's what we got on the docket for today. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, yesterday, I already talked a little bit about what deck I was playing. Uh, a bit of a show of, of strength. Uh, normally, we try to play in the dark, so we don't, you know, tell each other what we're playing. But I'm playing Blue Red Delver. It's my jam. For a man who claims to not like losing, you sure do like losing the information war. Uh, yeah, see, that's called confidence. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see, because I got a nice one. And hopefully it takes you till about turn three to figure out what's going on. Well, I mean, that's fair. I haven't done a ton of research on Popper. I've basically just looked over all the deck lists from MTG Goldfish. So if it's not one of like the top nine decks on Goldfish, I don't I don't know what it is. Yeah, well, then you don't know my deck. All right, well, you lost yesterday, so you get to choose to be on the play if oh, you so desire. I'm going to be playing first. All right. What do we have? This looks good. This looks good. So we got this on turn one. And then turn two, we can do this, and then go from there. Perfect. Tight. My deck's great. My hand's great. Okay. I'm going to play a mountain uh -oh. and a fire wild border post. Yeah, I don't know what's going Pass on. Pass the turn. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to lead off with the best card in our deck, Delver Secrets. One really cool thing about uh, the Blue Red Delver deck, being able to play Scred is... Per Trigger. What is happening? Wish for two. That's a lot. Okay. All You're right. at 18. I'm at 18. Pass uh, the turn. I get to play Ash Barons and Evolving Wilds, which uh, function as dual lands that also find uh, snow lands. Okay. I don't really want to draw this Preordain. I kind of want to shuffle it away with this Ash Barons. Um, That's neat. Get a little scry out of your Ash Barons. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to get Find another Snow Island. Another Snow Island? Yeah. Maybe you lied to me and you're actually playing Mono Blue Delver. No. Maybe that's bad. Actually, no. I should just get a Snow Mountain. I got to be able to interact with you, I believe. So I'm curious why he's playing the Border Post. Like, I, I can see the Burning Tree, the Rip Clan Crasher, these, like, aggressive <laughs> things. All right, draw. Got to fix my mana. <laughs> All right. Um... So while these are in play, they're basically the same thing. I, I mean, maybe he's got mutagenic growth in his deck. Maybe I should. Hmm. I might need to trade with this Delver, so I guess I'll just try to scred this. Okay, I, I, mean, I don't know if there's like a, a copy effect or something. I don't know. Kill it. Sure. All right. Uh, smoosh. 17. Your turn. Okay, not the best of draws, but we still have a fine line here. We'll rank her this Crasher. That's good. Much right. for four. 14. Glad Todd played his removal spell aggressively. And I'll bolt this Delver. That's pretty good. Pass the turn. Hmm. Go. Could have been a little greedy with Preordain and tried to find another island. Crasher. Sure. Attack for six. Right, bolt this one. Take two. Yeah, I'm at Bring 12. To 12. Pass the turn. All right, Delver, look. Miss. Play. Attack for one. 16. 16 12. Your turn. Attack for two. I'm going to need my man. I'm going to go do this. Sure. I'll take two. I'm at. Uh, Brings you to 10. Uh, still haven't found a forest for this curd ape, but I'm going to try to spell soda sprite that just for tempo purposes. The rancor could be problematic, but I think I just gotta try to get pressure as well as uh, tempo. trigger on the stack. I'll bolt the sprite so that leaves Todd with zero fairies, so the ape resolves, and I'll rancor the ape so that even if Delver transforms, the ape will at least trade with it. That turn went pretty well. Ugh. Kind of hoping to draw a forest here. Go. So that my ape doesn't just trade for a miscreant. 
Unfortunate. Um, I guess we'll see if Todd has another bolt. It probably does. Dash heel cutter. It's good. Declare tax. Yep. Uh, miscreant cannot block. So now at least Cardi will trade for a dollar. Might double block the heel cutter. That seems, with the Delvers being able to transform, I don't know. Yeah, this is not great. So I can go to one, and then I can use Counterspell next uh, turn. You'd go to two if you take this. This is only one Oh, yeah, yeah, so eight, so two. Okay. Yep. Similar position, though. My Delvers don't transform. I might just be dead if... Uh... I guess I could preordain into something. Okay, I'll go to two. Okay, this comes back on end step, and you can go. Actually, no, I should probably block this. And go to three? Just to get one more creature off the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you get to replay the yeah. Rancor now, but okay. Yeah, Rancor the Swift Clan Crasher. Yeah. And you're at three. All right, so we got to reveal. Uh, so we can block this now and not die. So that's good. Can you, though? Yeah, I have a counter spell. Dash, you know, hit yeah. you, whatever. 15. I'm probably dead, but I can survive or try to. It's possible I should have held this back as a, a threat to threaten to block, but I don't know. Okay, dash this thing. Attack for four. Right, Take two, go to one. Way. Pass the turn. All right, tech, ninjutsu. Um, 13. Yep, I'll draw a card. Yep. Go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not dead. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, Ross is in trouble now. <laughs> Attack for three. Block. Yep. If I had drawn the forest, you would have been dead, but I drew Evolving Wilds. All right. Uh, so it just gets. Plus one, plus one in haste. Haste. Okay. If you wanted the answer to why border poster in my deck. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. so last card is Rancor. We have a draw step plus a draw from Deep Hours potentially, plus, plus. a Ponder and a Preordain. Draw. Okay, we'll start with a Brainstorm. Start with a Brainstorm. You got a Shuffle effect in there? I may have Ponder and Preordain, so I can kind of shuffle but. stuff away. You can always just do those first. Not if I can just shuffle them away. I don't know, man. Get out of my head. You've played Legacy before. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I screwed that up, actually. I should have played the Hackblade into the counter spell. I would have won this game. That was stupid. I would have played differently. Well, you were dead to it, like you would have had to counter it. Yeah, but I would have played differently. I would have, like, uh, like, instead of doing this last turn, I would have just, like, ponder a preordained or whatever. Sure. Uh, I wouldn't have won, but it would, I would have been a much better spot. <laughs> You'd have had to find a, a removal spell or a counter spell. All right, so we'll put back uh, Miscreants, Ponder... Playing Augur Bolus. Take the ponder. So you found a bolt? No. Play ponder. Okay, you got a land drop. Alright, we will leave it like that. We'll attack, draw. 11. Uh, go. Attack. I will declare a block, and then I'll bolt it. Sure. I don't even know if I should do that. I might should just let Augur block and Pass. die. Draw. I kind of just want to leave this back on defense for now, along with this other Augur. Maybe that's too much. Hmm. All right. Two, put you nine. Yep. I'll draw. There's a deep hour. is dope. Okay, that should lock up the game. Uh, trigger. Uh, 
Um, I'll go and preordain. Might as well. Go. It's going to be a frustrating draw, but Naya Hushblade. Does that have Hexproof? Shroud. Shroud? Unfortunately. Not a, a target for Ranker. I don't know. I'm scared of things I can't target. Best. I got two removal spells in my hand. Um, all right, four. Put you five. five. Draw. Preordain. Let's just bottom both. We're basically just looking for another counter spell at this point, or something similar. Doing the thing, <laughs> stuff and things. Uh, I'm gonna gush. I do have a gush. Don't know if I'm going to. Now gush. you're tapping low enough that you can't cast counter spell, right? Um, have you played land yet? I've not. So I'm okay, yeah, I guess if you gush, then. Do you have a counter spell? Go. If you don't, I have outs. I have a spell search, right? Is that good enough? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you have a bolt too, right? Yeah, I mean the blocker doesn't doesn't let me survive. Okay, so close. If I draw on either of those lands a turn earlier, I win. Okay, we're here for sideboarding. Not much to do on my side. Unfortunately, the Yavamaya Barbarians in my sideboard, which would normally be good against a Delver deck, are not good against a deck with eight red removal spells. Um, so I'm just going to trim a couple of my weaker threats and bring in a good removal spell in the matchup to help clear away some of Todd's cards. Sure. Uh, my side, we are going to be becoming a little bit more of a control deck and less of a tempo deck. Uh, we want more answers to his creatures. Uh, Hydro Blast should be able to take care of most of them. Not all of them, for sure. Uh, this other card, I'm not sure, is actually good. Uh, I think one of our easiest ways to win is just flip Delver and attack and use spot removal. So uh, this card might not end up being all that great, but I think it's going to be good. We have one more on our board that uh, we could potentially bring in based on his sideboard plan. So, All right, so this six-card hand is uh, significantly better in this matchup, uh, so we're definitely going to keep it. We also get a scry. Uh, this is the kind of hand I want after sideboard in this matchup, just a lot more controlling. Uh, we get to kind of fix our draws. Uh, we're going to bottom that third land, though. Uh, go. Get my forest. That way my curd ape is great. Nice. Nice. Do you also have Ash Barons in your deck? I do not. Because of Border Post. Sure. Those are my two dual lands. Okay. Come on. Yeah, that's okay. I will play a Ripley and Crasher and mush you. Yep. Brings you to 18. Pass the turn. Surprise, surprise, it's a mountain. Uh, go. John the Hackblade. Uh, so it gets haste, so I could just kill this, and it's just yes. a two one. Okay. That is how this works. I will bolt it. Okay, pass turn. So I think I want to EOT brainstorm and then use Ash Barons to shuffle. So let's go ahead and do that. Just trying to find some goodies. Nice. Actually, don't even want to shuffle now. So I, I, I think I'm just gonna shuffle away a card. Maybe it's just Ninja the Deep Hours because we don't have another creature to pair with it yet. I think that's fine. Okay. Hmm. Ponder. Okay. I can handle this. Go. Mm. Not exactly drawing what we need. 
and at this point uh hush blade all right i will hydro blast that yep all right attack for cheap i'll spread that pass yeah not very often played ash baron <laughs> Gonna get this okay. ninja, try to that was use a pretty good draw. Oh, no. Emissary into a hush blade. That's pretty good. Pass. Thing is, I'm probably gonna need to trade one of them with this ninja, which just lets Todd remove the other one. Feardane. But then Todd's pretty low on resources. The fact that he's drawn four lands to my two. So I can basically make it so he can never attack if I just don't attack with ninja, because the the he just gets so buried. Uh, we're gonna bottom. We're just gonna look for some more interaction. That was a good one. We'll wait till next turn, though. Go. Ugh. Uh, you have two in hand? Yes. Um. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, I'll just pass the turn. There it is. I don't really want to make the risky line because I don't think there's a huge benefit to it. That's a good one. Just deals five to everything. Non flyers. You got threshold over there. Yeah, we got seven. That's pretty good. Um, there we go. What's up? <laughs> I'll play this okay. game. That lets us start doing some things. Uh, violent Outburst Cascade. Okay. Cast this. Okay, so now you're going to our plus one power? Yep. Okay. Hold on, I might uh, yeah. Card spell the Curate. Oh, sure. So they're not plus one power yet. Yeah. Hmm. No, it's fine. Whatever. Okay, Curate good, Outburst yeah. good. I'll unleash you for three. Pass. I will pass the turn. Outburst, Cascade Trigger. Sure. Frenzied got one. Sure. Uh, Mushu for three. I'll go to 15. Pass the turn. These augers are like playing some super good D right now. Uh, the Frenzy Goblins, whatever. Like if he attacks next turn with it, I'll just get to eat it and I'll take like five or something. It's not that bad. I kind of just want to make him play at least one more creature before our Swirling Standstorm. Uh, there's a chance he could have some way to counter the Sandstorm though, like a or maybe not. Hmm. Alright. Draw. I want to save this Ash Barons, kind of, but there might be a, a turn in a little while where I need the mana, so I'll just cycle it and play land they go. Plus, I put some pretty good cards on the bottom with my augers that I wouldn't mind drawing. Hmm. Four in hand? Uh, yes. So I do believe we will be boarding on the other Swirly Sandstorm. <laughs> that seems pretty good here. He's just stuck between a rock and a hard place. He plays too many creatures. You know, he might not have great follow-ups. Augur's playing super good D. Hmm. All right, bolt it. So, I really needed Todd to not have another removal spell. Every single card in my hand besides Sandstorm could have stopped that. <laughs> Just FY. <laughs> Probably should have boarded out these rankers. Probably. 
They were pretty good in the first game, though. Yeah. If this had Hexproof, I think it would be significantly better. That is very true. So. Pass the turn. Whoop. Go. Declare attacks. Yeah, so this is a spot that's kind of weird. I, I think I'm fine just taking six if he attacks with a Frenzy Goblin. Um, but maybe not. I probably should have just Swirling Sandstorm last turn because of the uh, combo of Frenzy Goblin and Hush Blade. So, and I want to save this. So, uh, I think attacks are okay. Okay, attack. Yep. The Sauger can't block. Chump here. Take four. Okay, take four. Go to 11. Pass the turn. All right. Uh, attack for one and then send yep. storm. I'm at 19. Your turn. Crasher. I will use a counter spell. Pass. Nice. Go. Pass. Uh, flow to cast a gush. Yep. Uh, play a land, play a delver with the floating pester. Blazing volley. Deal one to all my creatures. Yep. I'll hydroblast it. Blazing volley. I will counterspell it. Basically, just need my delver to close the game here. Yes. Since Ross is stumbling so badly, and we have two more things to answer creatures. So, oh, sorry. This yeah, you're good. What what was it? The delver. Oh, I okay. didn't reveal it, but I didn't flip either. either. Eighteen. Go. Blazing volley. Uh, sure. I will bolt it. What? We're, do we're done here. Where are we going? Where are you? I'm not even hitting. I'm not even hitting off my delvers. Where are you going? Okay. Uh, very cl really close game one, uh, and kind of got slaughtered there in the second game. Uh, I don't think I sideboarded very well. I think I should have boarded out all the rankers. Your deck just has too much cheap interaction for yep. me to be, to be able to safely land them. Um, as you noted during the game, like if, if Nihosh played at Hexproof instead of Shroud, like every creature does now, but yeah. um, it, it well, would be a much better. Era, different time, yeah. a simpler time. But yeah, that is bit. that is not the case. So had I been a uh, cut ranker and just made myself more threat dense, brought in the Barbarians, tried to overload your removal somewhat, yeah. maybe brought in some Flame fl Slashes to deal with the uh, Augur Bolas. Thought about having Chain Lightning somewhere in the deck too, just to have more burn. Sure. Um, so the, there are things I could have done differently, I think, to put myself in, in better position. Instead, I just got stuck with a couple Blazing Volleys in my hand that didn't really do anything, uh, ran, two Rankers that didn't do anything, and drew a few too many lands. Uh, from the initial list that I saw, I added a couple mana sources, so I, I went up to 22 from 20 mm -hmm. uh, without raising the curve much. Maybe I'm only supposed to be at 21. But I like uh, like the, the Burning Tree Emissary Hush Blade, or, or Blade. Uh, yeah, Hackblade, Hushblade. Yeah. Yeah, th those creatures out of uh, Alar Reborn are pretty powerful with Burning Tree Emissary. Uh, you know, but he turns on both, or Burning Tree Emissary turns on both of them. Yep. And uh, the fact that you can play either of them off of the green red is pretty cool because of the hybrid mana. Yeah, so I, I like that sort of core of the deck. I like what it's doing, but uh, I think the sideboard certainly needs work. And this matchup is definitely just going to be among the weaker ones, like eight one-mana red removal spells that are all really good and sideboard hy hydro blasts mm -hmm. and just a bunch of card advantage against an aggro deck. So probably needs more reach for a matchup like this um, and just uh, a better, just a better sideboard overall there. Like my sideboard has like ancient grudges and weird things for other pauper decks. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar enough with like the pauper metagame to have to build good sideboards. So Oh, same. Uh, I mean, I think that's kind of the problem with pauper is that there aren't a lot of tournaments. Uh, so yeah. hopefully Star City Games running a, a popper classic at SEG Con, wink, wink, uh, will give us some, you know, new decks, some fresh perspectives on the format, uh, as well as just enough hype about the format to get people playing it. And I'll tell you what right now, you can quote me on this. If the popper classic breaks 300 players, I guarantee you we're going to have a popper open within a year. I guarantee it. And this is not me speaking for StarCGames.com. This is me predicting. So please, if it doesn't happen, don't 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 get mad. <laughs> <laughs> but if it breaks three hundred, Star City goes where the money is. You know yep. that's why on the SCG tour we've really you know delved into modern, uh, specifically over standard because standard's been kind of bad for the last two years. 
and, yeah, and um, attendance was down. So attendance was down, and now attendance is way back up. We got uh, you know probably too many team opens and too many modern opens, but that's you know it is what it is. People play it. Nine hundred people per open. <laughs> You know, I guess whatever it's fine. Yeah. So if you want more popper, if you want more to support no bandless modern, yes, get people to show up. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for me and Ross Merriam today. Make sure to check out starcitygames.com. Uh, all this week, we're going to have links to uh, stores nearby you where you can go check out uh, SEG regionals. Uh, it's going to be the modern format. We have one more modern video this week. That'll be on Friday. Yeah. Tomorrow, we're doing no bandless no modern. Bandless modern, yeah. That should be fun. Oh, yeah. I, I got a nice one. My deck is nice. Oh, well, I mean, I think everyone thinks they're no bandless. My deck is <laughs> nice because it's got a bunch of not banned cards in it, or banned a bunch cards. of banned cards in it. All right. Well, that's going to be all for me and Ross today. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for that no bandless modern uh, video. It should be fun. See you tomorrow. <laughs>